More than two million travelers come here to Los Cabos every single year, and more than half of those come from the USA, like me. Here at Reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos, the halogen bright sun reflects off the Sea of Cortez. Reflecting pools surround lounging oases, perfect for solitary reflection. This is the rooftop sky lounge at the beachfront altitude tower. And if you are entertained by surfers trimming a wave face as wind-driven swells drive long, speedy waves past a point break along Costa Azul, don't overlook Zipper's Beach here at Zipper's Bar and Grill. Wait, strike that. Absolutely do overlook Zipper's Beach from the Sky Lounge atop Altitude Tower at Reflect. You can look right over here. Zipper's Beach has some of the best waves in Los Cabos and is host every June to the Los Cabos Open of Surf, a battle among up-and-comers and women surfing. The surf here at Zippers and neighboring breaks is propelled not only by local winds, but by ground swells originating near New Zealand. They pass Fiji, they pass Tahiti, before breaking here on the shorelines of Los Cabos. The Blue Pacific has worked very hard to push that swell more than 6,000 miles here to the Sea of Cortez, so that a surfer can ride it the last 50 to 100 yards. Zipper's Bar and Grill is about a 10 minute or so stroll from the resort, depending upon your degree of difficulty walking on sand. It's a bona fide beach dive popular with locals, a waterfront shack where you can view surfers from the world over in their natural habitat. Zipper's Bar is a great place to squander a couple of hours hanging out beachside with amazing views in the company of locals and expats. Try the Baja style fish tacos, beer battered and deep fried. You can have the same tacos Baja style without leaving the resort at Surfo's which is Spanish for surfers, which delivers to your personal campsite poolside. So that's already one cool thing about staying at Reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos. It's a shiny new all-inclusive at the southeast tip of Mexico's Baja Peninsula with its toes in the sand and its face to a sea so rich in marine mammals and fish, it has been called the world's aquarium, the Sea of Cortez. Reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos is idyllically located on the vast beachfront of artsy and laid-back San Jose del Cabo. Together with Cabo San Lucas, they comprise the tourism hub of Los Cabos, where the desert meets the ocean. The resort is a shade over 15 minutes from the airport. There are a variety of room configurations, including swim-out suites, both garden view and oceanfront. The premier experience at the resort is delivered by the Altitude Club with its beachfront tower and luxury rooftop bar. Watch the sunrise from the Sky Lounge pool. 
The Sky Lounge is adults only and offers the most sweeping views in San Jose del Cabo. This is the view to the north. Here's how it looks to the south. And just over that promontory curving into the sea is George Clooney's house, a stone's throw distant along the road to Cabo San Lucas at El Dorado, the most expensive gated community in Los Cabos. If you only have three and a half million to spend, you can buy a nice house set back a bit with a sea view, not oceanfront, over the rooftops of assorted movie icons, sports superstars, and assorted CEOs. Cindy Crawford, too. On the south-facing side of the beachfront tower, dual-stacked infinity pools provide an Instagram-worthy view toward the sea. Adult singles, couples, and families are all drawn to these pools, where for some of the day, entertaining jokers organize goofy games and stunts. On the north-facing side of the tower is an adults-only pool with a swim-up bar. A non-stop cadre of pool staff delivers drinks and food from Surfos, a snack bar that produces great fresh-made ceviche, fish tacos, guacamole, and more, or just burgers and fries. Across the family pool is the O Buffet Restaurant, with a huge selection of international dishes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I asked what the O stands for, and I was told it stands for O. I sometimes presume too much. O Restaurant stands on its own, like old Tannenbaum. The empanadas are handmade. There are Mexican and Italian restaurants too, open for dinner, and a martini and tapas restaurant under thatch palapas overlooking the adult pool. The Grill is another restaurant that serves an international menu at lunch and dinner with a spectacular view smack on the beach. The only restaurant requiring reservations is Ayami, serving Pan-Asian cuisine. The best seats are at the teppanyaki table, where the chef juggles knives and spatulas as he entertains with flaming griddle tricks. From his perch in the lobby bar, he is master of all he surveys. It's the promise of unlimited luxury. Bartender Manuel is everybody's amigo. The lobby bar serves unlimited top shelf spirits. This Blanco is Manuel's recommended nightcap. For a sweeter taste, you can try the Reposado. What to do with the kids? Get them wet and keep them wet. The kids club for ages four to 12 is open nine to five. Teens have their own club. Eternity Spa offers a workout room with machines and free weights and a menu of relaxing packages, including a 60-minute massage right on the beach. Or try something less physical and more metaphysical. For those who must pretend to do business in paradise, there are rooms for such things. This one appears to have been booked by the Dark Lord of the Sith to convene the Senate of the Galactic Republic to discuss disbanding the Jedi Order. You'll fall asleep to the rhythm of the inexhaustible waves rolling onto the beach. By the way, it is popularly called Costa Azul Beach, the Blue Coast. But some at Reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos have named their own stretch of sand Matacora Beach in the language of the native Paracu and Wichels. Matacora is a desert bush with medicinal roots. Los Cabos includes two towns with singular personalities. Reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos faces the sea and behind it spreads San Jose del Cabo, the larger, laid back and artsy green oasis in the desert because of a river estuary that passes through it. But when some speak of flying down to Cabo, it is to Cabo San Lucas they are bound, legendary retreat and playground of rock icons and movie stars. There is more than enough at Reflect and the adjacent amiable colonial town to comprise a perfect vacation. But since this view is just a mere half hour distant, why not check it out? We arrange for a day trip at the Amstar desk, located in a large Palapa pavilion behind the sports bar and tapas and martini bar which flank the adult pool. 
The entire Baja Peninsula has one road that connects the whole thousand miles from top to bottom. It is Mexican Federal Highway 1, more often called Carretera Transpeninsular. And the name of the corridor from the entrance of Reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos to the south tip of Baja is lengthened even more to Carretera Federal Libre Transpeninsular Cabo San Lucas San Jose del Cabo. So let's just agree to call it Route 1. The Baja Peninsula stops dividing the Pacific from the Sea of Cortez at a pile of rocks called Land's End. One of the rocks famously has a hole in the middle. Getting close enough for an Instagram-worthy view of El Arco requires a boat. In the photo inserted here are Anita and Jorge from Monterey. We met them at the Reflect Swim Up Bar. They were celebrating their anniversary. Sharing their photo with us, our new amigos saved us the boat ride, affording us more time better spent sipping tequila at Cabo Wabo Cantina. We stopped along the way to view Land's End from a beach favored by both locals and tourists. Here we view the arch sideways, so the hole is concealed. If you must see the arch, just Google El Arco and you can scroll through a whole stockpile of hole pictures. But if you can see the hole, you can't get a massage with this view on Madano Beach. It really does rank high on TripAdvisor. If you wish to marvel at El Arco up close, you get your tickets here at the marina. The glass bottom boat is a popular choice. It joins the flotilla heading out there just around the corner. The marina district is where a lot of the action is. Tons of bars and restaurants, and shopping, an upscale mall even. Even fans not already on Social Security know Sammy Hagar is a hair band rock star who is worth $120 million today because he is a visionary businessman. He saw the bottom end of Baja as a refuge from touring while selling 80 million albums, and he had the idea that if he built it, they would come, and they still come, to his laid-back music-themed Cabo Wabo Cantina. A few years later, he hired a Jalisco distillery to make a bar brand Cabo Wabo tequila, and he enlisted an American distributor to help kickstart the 100% agave quality tequila boom in the U.S. market. When he cashed out and sold his brand for $90 million, he had to sign a promise he wouldn't make a competing tequila. But he never promised not to mix tequila with mezcal and invent a new high-end spirit called mezquila. He markets Santo Mezquila with partner Adam Levine of Maroon 5. Sammy hosts birthday bash concerts at Cabo Wabo, where he rocks with famous friends, and the ticket always costs $1 times his age. Tickets to the 2018 shows in October sold out at $71 each. The desert of Baja is home to the world's tallest cactus, and you'll see many from a distance riding to and from the airport. In Cabo, I asked Alfredo, our guide, if we could see one up close. Said Alfredo, I know a place. In Cabo, Route 1 hooks up with Route 19, which loops north around the Pacific coast of Baja until circling back and reconnecting with Route 1 farther north. Not far out of town, the Pacific side landscape turns into this. The Cardone cactus can grow above six stories tall, and its thick trunk can be as wide as Danny DeVito is tall. I fact checked that. Summer is the wet season and rains have caused the desert to bloom. In the dry months, the green morphs back into desert. Travelers should know that most of Los Cabos sparkling beaches are for Facebook posting and surfing and not for swimming. Riptides are powerful and wicked undertow can easily carry a weak swimmer away from shore and will not promise the ride will be round trip. But the views of the rollers are stunning and the four pools that reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos provide acres of cool H2O on a steamy summer afternoon. There are secluded and protected, placid, public beaches along the road to Cabo San Lucas that are popular for snorkeling. Back on Route 1, heading back to the resort from Cabo, we visit one of the best of them, Playa Chileno. Chileno Beach is the favorite of locals and has shiny new public bathrooms, stainless steel urinals. There is walk-in snorkeling. Sea urchins and starfish are abundant. Nice assortment of fish and shallow tidal pools with turtles and octopus further out among the rocks. Lots of crabs skitter along the rocky end of the beach. In whale season, stick your head underwater 
and see if you can listen for their songs. We spoke to a fan of this beach who advises to bring frozen peas. Fish love them and may swarm you. Still heading north on Route 1 just before arriving back at the resort, we pause at a scenic overlook with a view to Zipper Surfing Beach and reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos beyond that. Many guests at Reflect Crystal Grand Los Cabos feel neither urge nor compulsion to leave this lovely and agreeable traveler's cocoon, which, after all, promises unlimited luxury. But for those whose nature is to explore, there is a charming and historic colonial district filled with restaurants, bars, and art galleries, and assorted entertainments less than a 10-minute cab ride from the resort. The first church here, this one was rebuilt in 1940, was built in San Jose del Cabo when George Washington was two years old. The Spaniards chose this place to live because here, on a dry peninsula of desert and rocks, there is water. The San Jose River runs from headwaters in the Sierra de la Lagunas to the Sea of Cortez, part of the way underground. The estuary that results from the mix of salt and freshwater here creates a biological bubble of green in which flourish many plants and animals which can live in no other place in Baja. The estuary is a sanctuary for birds like the hooded oriole and the gilded flicker. A couple of minutes from the estuary, one re-enters the desert at the Wiracuta Botanical Cactus Garden. Most of the time, this is a resource for landscapers decorating with hundreds of different varieties of cactus. The tens of thousands of prickly balls here can be seen everywhere throughout Los Cabos, decorating yards, traffic roundabouts, hotels, and golf courses. But on one evening a week on Wednesdays during most of the year, you'll have to call and check for availability. The Wiracuta Gardens are transformed into a Cirque du Soleil style dinner spectacular called The Legend of the Blue Deer. It tells in song and dance with fantastic costumes the origin story of the indigenous Switchel tribe, which received the gift of peyote and its hallucinogenic visions from the blue deer. You could call it Cirque du Psychedelia. Here, the Witchell Market offers intricate and colorful objects crafted from beads and fabric. San Jose del Cabo claims 350 days of sunshine a year, and walking through cactus gardens in summer is thirsty work. Happily, there is a brew pub nearby. The Baja Brewing Company is the oldest craft brewery in Los Cabos, founded by a couple of guys from Colorado. They export north of the border now. An outdoor beer garden has wood-fired pizza, Chicago celebrity Mexican chef Rick Bayless says the red ale pairs the best with the pizza. With a burrow as its logo, Baja Brewing offers oatmeal stout, black ale, amber ale, a Mexican IPA, and Baja Raz raspberry beer. The brewery is surrounded by art galleries. This area of town is called the Gallery District. There's a wine-sipping gallery walk every Thursday night in the lighted streets behind the church. Also a short ride from Reflect is one of multiple dolphin encounter opportunities in Los Cabos. Cabo Dolphins in the hotel zone has a male performer, Ali'i, who seems pleased to share a performance pool with two females, Nawi and Aqua. All were raised in captivity. I don't golf, but our guide Alfredo insisted there's a golf course we had to see. Los Cabos has multiple courses that are open to the public, and three are not far from Reflect Crystal Grant. We went off to see Puerto Los Cabos Golf Club, carved into rolling foothills of the Sierra de la Laguna Mountains with elevated views of the Sea of Cortez. Its three courses, designed by Greg Norman and Jack Nicholas, climb a steep slope within a 2,000-acre resort community decorated with mega-million-dollar mansions. Golf carts must be turbo to strain upwards, sometimes at a 45 degree angle, climbing the foothills from the lowest green just above the beach to the highest tee offering one of the best views in Los Cabos. It is common to see road runners zip across the fairways. The fees include all-inclusive food and alcohol at three watering hole palapas on the courses delicious, authentic, fresh-made, handmade tacos and local delicacies. Again, I don't play golf, but I would pay the greens fees just to drive the cart to this place and hang out all afternoon with great unlimited food and adult beverages 
with one of the most spectacular views in all of Los Cabos. You can come here too. Maybe you will meet the owner of that $13 million, 20,000 square foot home on the hill with nine full bathrooms and four partial bathrooms. Maybe you both will fall in love and get married. Invite me to the reception. You owe me that.